In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I created the thumbnail you are watching on the screen. By the end of this Canva tutorial, you will know how to create a hollow picture effect in Canva, how to add a white outline to an image in Canva, and learn one of the useful Canva hacks using the Tracer app on Canva. Stick around until the end of the video to see other examples I've created using these Canva tools. Let's get started. Open a YouTube thumbnail design like the one I have here. I'm starting by inserting the picture I've uploaded, which is a gray image. I want to color it and I will use one of Canva apps, the Colorize app. But before I do that, I'm removing the background. This is very simple. Just select the image, click Edit Image, and then hit the BG Remover button. Now, with my image selected, I'm hitting the Colorize button. This colored image has a background, which I'm removing. Next, I'm changing the background color to a dark color. With my image selected, I'm clicking the Apps button, writing Tracer in the search bar of Canva Apps, and choosing the Tracer app button. Then, I click the Trace Selected Image button and wait for the Canva Hollow image. You can adjust the hollow outline, and when you're happy, click the Add to Design button. The hollow picture is in black, and I changed the color to white because that's the color I want. Now let's finish this YouTube thumbnail by inserting one of Canva elements. You might wonder how to add a white outline to an image in Canva. Well, wonder no more, I'm going to show you. Select the image, click Edit Image, and then click Shadow. Here, you can choose from different options, but I'm using the glow effect. It's so simple. Let's insert a title in this thumbnail. Check out the text effects I use here.
Finally, I'm inserting the Canva logo and adding a glow shadow around it. It's done. I hope you enjoyed this Canva tutorial, and now I leave you with some other examples that I did, as promised. Remember to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. We would also love to read your comments. I'll see you in the next video.